What is going on, everyone? Thanks so much for tuning back in. We've got the back nine of round one, 2024 Nevada State Disc Golf Championships, sponsored by MVP, coming at you right now. Your boy Spanky Edwards, my man, Dan Double N. Um, yo, yo. Yeah. The front nine, uh, like we were saying, maybe a slow start for everybody, but at the same time, not so much. Because five down's pretty solid from Will on the front. Yeah. yeah, Nate's right there with a four. But Jed just launching off a six is just like, okay, fire. Jed's a shooter. Uh, something tells me we, we might see a little bit of him <laughs> later on down the line In here. The yeah, um, definitely, but I'm excited to see this back nine. Uh, the course changes a lot. All of a sudden, we're going to see some more downhill shots, uh, slightly more wooded tunnel shots. So the course definitely evolves and changes up as we go but these downhill shots get really fun and you know if you can get a hold of the line you can get it all the way there so yeah there it is jed six down but a ton of people right there you know trying to trying to get at them so this flyover of zephyr cove nice yeah the glassiest water i've seen it's pretty primo here we go. Hole 10, 420 feet downhill. It's like straight and then like a little bit of a right finish at the end. Uh, you can kind of see it from here. When, you, when we get to zoom, maybe you could see it better. But uh, tough hole. Yeah, like we were saying, oh, that's the one mistake that you just hate. Okay. To, oh, he kicked okay. out. That's nice. It's It's such a common mistake to pull it a little bit right, but it's brutal when it does because it just stops all of your forward progress so quickly when well, it's a tough up and down from over there oh yeah absolutely that's like the big problem nate looks like this one's floating a little bit left i think it'll probably finish right but uh i do like the forehand play on uh especially for this pin position you can just kind of crank something over stable way out to the left and then all the airspace is over there tanner if this one finishes it's gonna be down there uh, We'll never know. I feel like we will. We might find out. Well, that's low. Yeah, yeah, the camera angle doesn't necessarily show you exactly how cool this tee shot is. Uh, from the tee box, you're just looking through this field goal down into this huge valley in the middle of these trees. It's absolutely stunning. If you've never been here, you will be pumped when you get to hole 10. This guy takes a lot of time. <laughs> oh, man. I love the initial flip up. Was that Carl's Jr.? That was Carl's Jr., yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I got that one a little bit high. Here's Will playing up. Yeah, his kick actually sent him way left. It sent him all the way across the fairway to the... To the other bad side to be on right yeah it's kind of a here's nate really got about pin high but just left fine effort there it gets a little funky over where he was there's a lot of trees to contend with and i mean that's a that's a huge putt from there it's a good layout because it's a hard one to run from that deep mm -hmm. And I mean, you could see from this angle now how much higher that basket. I mean, the, the bottom of the basket's higher than his head. You know, it's yeah. It's I mean, like with the with the back slope though, you can. I feel pretty confident just go ahead and running it. It's not like you're gonna go super long. Oh, definitely. But it's just the distance. If you're just putting, that distance it's far. It's far. If you're throwing something, sure. Mm -hmm. This is Will for a three. Oh, what a save! Save. I know he's loving that. Looking like a par frame, probably. Yeah, pretty formal cleanups here for everyone. <laughs> I think even Dan can make this one. <laughs> nice, dude. A little run up. Always want to get that four step run up to your putt, you know? Uh, guys, we got hole 11, a par three. Uh, 228 this is actually probably the 
the least played pin position on the whole. You don't see it much, yeah. But uh, that's not a it's not a bad pin position. It's just uh, I was so surprised to see it here for the tournament as I, like, I was playing a couple, you know the week before. Right. I think just being de- two twenty eight. I don't mean to jump on you there, but oh, no. uh, two twenty eight downhill and the greens a little bit fast. It's like you have to power down, so it kind of. Like, a lot of people, like, it makes it really easy just to kind of, like, blow past it, I would say. Like, it's right there, but it's really easy to mess up, too. Yeah, I mean, you either hit the basket to stop or you hit the ground before it. Or you throw something really overstable to, like, spike in. But if you're just throwing, like, a putter at it and it just starts, you know, airing, it's just going to keep airing and going forever past. So, yeah, yeah, speed control is a tough one to control on this one. Is it going to be on the rock for the next two rounds? I think we're going to see all three pin locations. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure. Oh, good bid. Dan tapped in a par. I didn't know Lance was down there still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's out there hiding in the bushes. <laughs> Is this Will for it too? Yes. Or maybe just inside the circle here, right around there. It looks like he's actually just kind of past that bush, which is nice. When you're like in it, it's just up to your chest. Yeah, it's hard to do your normal putting stroke when you're in it. Oh, darn. Maybe. Oh, he looked pretty unaffected. Tanner sneaking one in below the rim there. Barely. <laughs> Down Lance. Five, two, threes, and one. Yeah, we're all pretty disappointed walking with par. I said it was easy to mess up, but the fact that we all blew it is like surprising, I would say. We're all just like, wait, what? Uh, hole 12, guys. Uh, par three, four, 11. This is another one of those like signature holes, but I would say signature hole for probably being the most over par on the entire course. It, I haven't looked that up myself, but, but I think that would be true if you, had, if you followed all the stats. Yeah, not a lot of birdies, and uh, possibly for bogey is way greater. It's just so easy to hurt, hit the first couple trees, and then scrambling oh, into this sloped green from far away is so hard to get a disc to stick on it. So, I think it's a great hole, but there's not like... I mean, the, this forehand line maybe is like a true line, but the lines are hard. They are hard. I think it, there's no clear cut like I'm going to play this and it's going to be great. I mean, my, like I always do what looks like you're going to do, which is try to yeah. flip something down the center. Yeah. Let it drift right for most of the time and then somehow get stable after yeah. 400 feet of flying. We were liking that one, but it caught a, a late tree. Yeah. I mean, you got to see the gap on the right at, well, at the end of that you were trying to get through. That's a nice long bid. Uh, I would say from the T, there's like one or two gaps you want to try and get past, you, which if you go to the left side or the right side, and then like the rest of it is like, you just take whatever you can get. Like there's there's no promises, even if you think you threw a perfect shot. Sure, yeah. Oh no. You didn't like that? Oh, oh I thought it hit something. I thought it, I thought it kicked him right. Maybe my eyes were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I saw. You didn't like it, whatever you saw. I think he's fine. I think he's right there. For sure. <laughs> Here's Will for par here. Now, this is uh, back to, or no, I think that was hole 11. He had a tough up and down, hole 10. But hole 12 here, he's 37 feet. This is a big putt here. He's bogey free so far. Oh, wow. Nice save, dude. Clutch. Huge on those hot rounds, you know, it's not sometimes it's I mean, obviously it's about the birdies, but like holes like this that no, you know, you see a three in the scorecard and you don't think about it, but that this is a big hole for his tournament. I, you know, what I mean, oh, absolutely, 
pretty much every time I'm having a good round, I get to this hole, I'm like, oh, don't mess it up. <laughs> don't yeah. mess up this great round. And yeah, the, the scramble for par on this hole feels so good. For sure. You know, getting getting it all the way down there, you're like, oh. I'll yeah, I mean, his drive hit early, and then he was, you know, as far as his game goes, I think he's, his upshot, he wasn't, like, thrilled, and then he still made it work. So that was, like, a yeah two, like, one bad shot, one mediocre shot, and then, like, one really good putt. So, yeah, great par. Working man's par. It, it, for sure. Go. Uh, here we go. Hole thirteen, par three, two, thirty-eight. This yeah. one, they're thinking, ace, baby. Yeah, definitely ace or just birdie. It's on the birdie, yeah. It's on the left alleyway, you kind of throw a hyzer and let it finish early, and then the, the slope of the hill kind of will push the disc for you towards the basket. Yeah, any sort of straight flying putter or mid range is going to be fine. Uh, you could throw forehand, backhand. The backhand's probably a better play because it's going to dump into the hillside if it hyzers out, whereas it's steep enough that the forehand can get away. Oh, gosh, that is. I'm throwing a drone here, a crystal drone. Okay. I had a feeling that's. It's kind of hard and flat right at it and then let it finish into the hillside, like I said, and maybe slide up. Yeah, and that just hits so nicely and slides up there for you. And like you said, you you're you're thinking, come on, get that easy bird. And we can move on to the I need birdies. <laughs> I need birdies. I need birdies. I don't need to ace run and go fifty long. I need birdies. Tanner, don't roll. Okay, that's a good sit there. Okay, this lands for par. And this would be a good save after hitting that early wood. Ah. Oh. So frustrating. Nate for birdie. Yeah, it's it's hard to take a four on a two and thirty eight foot hole, but Will just above the basket, putting down at it from about seventeen feet. Taking his time. Yeah, Will's very meticulous on the green. It shows, you know, it's he's always kind of got the exact same tempo, and I think that's what that time is. It's just getting your your mind and your body into to where you can do it. You can repeat it over and over, and then you know, racing up there and then just zipping one in and right, right, right. making that mistake. So. Yeah, Lance, unfortunate four there on the short one that we're all thinking bird or ace on, but. It's got a straight uphill. I don't know if the camera does justice, but it's pretty steep. And uh, big hyzer is kind of the play, kind of like that. See the basket oh there. God. Looks like an ace run. But it's really steep. Maybe yeah. it's play, you know, maybe it's playing like three. I times. throw a fairway driver, but I like throwing fairway drivers. Yeah, I think I usually go like Thunderbird at this one. Yeah, yeah. That disc was stable. That looked pretty good. Maybe a little short. You know, I think everybody's. Well, I guess it was the forehand play, but. For the most part, you're going to see the backhand hyzer out to the right. Basically, you're aiming right up at 15's tee pad and just hoping that you break before it. Yeah. yeah. Tough fly for Lance there. Yeah. Tanner from just outside. Oh, 
so close. The screen has cleaned up really nicely this year. I'm not sure if we've mentioned it in previous coverage throughout the season, but this right side of the green it had kind of got a little overgrown, and it took... No, it was really blocking that hyzer play we were just talking about, and now it looks great. Now it's really nice. There's still, it's like, it still punishes the bad shot, but the good shots get rewarded for getting all the way in there. So I'm... Um, Shout out to the crew, to the boys for cleaning this course up and getting it looking great. Um, this is one of the ones that I think, look, you know, one of the best turnouts from the work that you guys did on it. So thank you. Damn, a little high. I like it, though. Yeah, that one caught an early tree, but somehow fought through. I was surprised when I got up there how close that was. Nice to get a Bernie. Birds. Lance taking the other uh, on the bogue. It's a rough stretch to bogue. I'm not trying to. Mm -hmm. And we are a premium disc golf South Lake Tahoe. Come check it out if you haven't already. All the discs you can imagine. Great spa great space to putt and throw. Also, if you're a rock climber, two different climbing walls in the uh putting area, so. Top notch. Here we go. Hole 15, 495 says the sign. This is an iconic shot in all of disc golf, Tahoe disc golf, Nevada disc golf, you name it. Like, look at this booming panoramic views, and then you get to throw a sick downhill shot. Yeah, I mean, if you look up Zephyr Cove disc golf, this is the picture you see. This is the shot. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, this is amazing. I think this is the best way to attack it. It's just a putter or a mid straight at it. Um, I feel like it's the most no frills. Oh, man, that goes a little long, but it's probably the easiest, best way to get to it. If you got the big arm, which Nate's looking for, is out and around, it's totally there. The shot is all there. You just have to be able to throw. There's a big avenue through the trees if you get your hyzer far enough out there where it just falls right to the basket. Yeah, once it gets like to that, I don't know, 350 mark and starts moving left, it's almost like completely untouched from there so she's got to be able to push it way out what'd you have there what was that desk an eagle oh okay pretty stable one didn't quite get to like the down on it enough so it hides it out but i think i ended up almost pin high tanner throwing another big wide shot here that looked really wide. I wonder if that can get all the way back. Oh, I think I saw some dust kick up. He's down there. Yeah. And there's a little turn out of it. Keep, oh. Huh. It was working. Yeah. It's so close. Those branches are like, honestly, if you ask me, that's kind of where you want to aim and let it just slowly drift from left to right. But... When you when you go for that style of shot, where, rather than the will just going like straight at it, truthfully straight at it, you know that if you go for that left to right drift, those branches really come into play. Is that Jay Rod in the background? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I had the whole gallery out there. <laughs> That's great. Oh. Is this your drive? This is where my drive ended up. Oh, okay. I thought you had drifted a little further out. Yeah. Got a little uh, putt. Probably, I'd say close to 40. It looks kind of close on the video, but I don't remember. Yeah, but I, that, I've been in that bush before. I think that's about 40. Oh, gosh. Is that another 40 footer? <laughs> we'll see. Rough. Oh, no. Speaking of rough, come on, Lance. Take your time, bud. Oh, no. Nobody likes to see that. Yeah, here's mine. Gosh, this is not the comeback I was hoping for after I thought I was about to make a birdie. Ugh. I mean, Bur I know it was a missed pup, but also the roll was brutal to you. Stay with me. Bird-o-gee. <laughs> bird <-o -gee. laughs> can you Can I get the definition? <laughs> well, with a par... I 
like one of those highs are just out to the right. We looked for it for a long time, but we were able to find it. That was pretty funny. Oh, we were all using Nate's disc to putt. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Nate's poor disc. Every, every, every opportunity we were snagging it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, we got a whole... Okay, yeah, hole 16. Uh, 318? Again, doesn't seem like it, but anyway, it's one of the coolest greens it, I've ever played. It's perched yeah. up with this beautiful bowl of rocks. Death behind it if you go long, and... Uh, Death to your disc if you hit the rocks. It right. just chunks them up. <laughs> Will Will's looked a little wide. It came up short, but he does have a putt. Yeah. Nate reaching for a Sexton Firebird. That might have been a Barth Beagle, actually. Parked. Yeah. If you've got the forehand, it's the play. They, there is a backhand line to the right side with like a mid or yeah, something, something slightly stable, but... It just brings in so many more trees right. using this straight off the tee box. Oh, I love the forehand shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The turnover lefty forehand. Yeah. This is a crock. So like insane amount of Anheuser I got to put on it. That'll get you up there for a putt. I got a little steep, but I got to putt. Yeah. Lance going justice there. I got to putt. See now. What you might not be able to see behind the basket is that if this air balls, this is, e you know, easily 20 to 100 feet down the hill. Yeah, if it, if it misses it hot, for sure. Good, big way to hit, you know, the cage and just keep it right there. Because it's a nice bowl. It's a collection bowl right up there. But anything that air balls past is gone. And Will's in the in kind of the best place to, if you're going to come up short. Yeah. To be putting uphill across at it because he's got a big backstop behind it now. I mean, he doesn't really have any. Well, that's too bad, but he didn't really have any worries because there's a big rock behind him. But Nate's where you want to be. <laughs> Keeps getting better. Just get it so close that you don't need to worry about it. Good, good putt. Yeah, good birdie, Nate. I think this is one of those like when you when I walk up to it, I'm thinking like I must birdie this, and I don't get it all the time. It's it takes a pretty specific shot, but it's also I wouldn't say it's probably one of the easier holes on the course. I haven't looked up the averages, but for sure. Being Will a little bit less than throw with par there, but yeah. on to the next one. See Lance just kind of, I think, ready for this round to be over and shoot a little better tomorrow. Or actually this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, right. This this tournament was two round, two round Saturday, 36 holes. Did they just go grenade? <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a grenade or just pure spike either, but that was pretty savage. I have never seen that shot on this oh, hole uh, it's only 220 <laughs> feet i mean it's just a to me it's a pretty basic hyzer with an overstable putter or mid we're over in the uh the a position today on the left side yeah slightly downhill 220 hyzer is pretty common here putter maybe overstable something mid that looks pretty proper from will yeah I mean, yeah, that, that just hit, like, the line. But the line's big. Like, the line is there. Yeah. I'm throwing a zone, trying to keep it on hyzer. This is inside. You look surprised. <laughs> surprised. I hit a tree. Um, uh. So, yeah, you're actually throwing from that yeah yeah which isn't, For, isn't pleasant on a 220 foot hole when you're throwing your second shot no that one actually sliced pretty long i think say so, because if you get you know you can hit a tree and like where, where lance is at like you hit a tree and you still have a jump putt or even just it's down because it's so downhill a lot of times you can right. just be putting so this is nate's big spike hyzer and or grenade i'm not sure what he threw we'll have to ask him
Just misses it left side. So close. Tanner for birdie. We haven't seen Willis drive yet, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Nice bird. This one's funny. It's so blind. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He did sail. I got roasted. Uh, yeah, this one's funny, though. You, you really can't see the basket from the tee in this in this pin position maybe just the flag the tip of the flag so your shot's always blind but if you play it enough you're like oh i think that was really good <laughs> oh will's checking the clipboard you never seen that video of matt bell 10k yeah I played with him the weekend after that. Yeah, you know, I still not play with him at Master Cup. Yeah, yeah I played like with him. I think we were talking about an ace that Matt Bell made. That oh, was like okay. stone, yeah. He like showed up and got out of his van in like jeans or something. He was late and then just aced it for like ten or twenty thousand dollars. Oh my god. Yeah, it was like a promo thing they were doing before the tournament. Pretty sick. That's cool. Hole eighteen. I can't believe we're already through this. Three hundred fifty-seven downhill. Will doesn't like that. I don't know why he was clapping. He was being dramatic. I think. I mean, he pulled it way right. Yeah. It, it seems so crazy to me. I've seen him do this multiple times. Nate throwing the forehand at his hole blows my mind. Because what he's... is that disc? A tactic or something? It's got to be something with that. He's such a good backhand putter thrower. Yeah. That's it, what I always argue. If I'm throwing right-hand backhand putter shots, like that's probably the play. How is Nate not throwing a right-hand backhand? He's so good at it, but he's clearly figured out that he likes to forehand with whatever that was. No, yeah, he's parked. And, you know, or close to it. Yeah. Good on you. Props to you, but... Lance ripping one down there. If it clears those Manzanita, oh, yeah, that's going to skip up there. Pretty proper. Nice shot, Lance. Well, he did get through everything, though. Okay, so yeah, he did love it. He's past the basket, past T1. Yeah, wow. This is Nate's four. I guess he was a little bit deep. I parked his generous, but here he is for birdie. I mean... Oh, All right. Wow. Tap off the round. Nine down. It's super spicy. That's a great round and a great way to finish it. Oh, a great way to finish it. Damn. I was definitely happy to make that one. Obviously not the round you were hoping for, but you're under par. You made a nice big putt. You've got an hour off and you're rolling into the second round you know like anything can happen anything can happen yeah lance just just leaning over the basket here for his birdie what a drive. Yeah. and that's a nice way to finish for him i know he's frustrated he's a much he's a great player and he plays zephyr well too he does so. zephyr very well he's always somebody that i if i see him show up i'm like Okay, there goes my money. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, it's just like, here we go. Jed, Nate, and Alex with a hot nine down, 10, 20 rated rounds. Will Ling with the eight down. Andrew McGill with a seven, just edging Andrew Gutierrez, I believe, by PGA number. So we'll see uh, McGill and co on lead card okay. round two. And you guys will too. I'm excited now. Now we've got a true lead card going into round two, and it's going to be, I think, fireworks. The basket's going to move a little bit. It's going to definitely. It's going to play a little harder, but scoring's going to be tougher. Yeah. I think everybody in this field. I know everybody in this field has the ability to shoot well, uh, no matter the layout here. So definitely excited. Thank you guys for joining us today, and we're going to knock out round two, and we'll see you there. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Later. Later.